Welcome back to Mobility Wad. Um, just uh, we're gonna work on a special thing today. This is called Mashunga. This is one of our best favorite warm ups around the house. We try to attack each other. We're fighting. Oh no! Take it off. Ah oh, no! You're Luke Skywalker. You've just had uh, your father cut off your hand. And we're going to talk about back squatting today. We're going to talk about kind of one of the common problems we see. A lot of athletes struggle to end up in a good back squat position. What ends up happening is they lack the shoulder flexibility. And one of the things that happens is we see a big wrist break. When the wrist is broken, and you might as well be Luke Skywalker without that wrist, you just end up kind of in a broken position. So, what we're going to do today is we'll work on a couple pieces to try to improve this positioning. If the shoulders come forward, can you see this? If the shoulders come forward, hang on a sec, buddy. If the shoulders come forward because I don't have the flexibility, then it leaves me in a rounded upper back position. I'm definitely not as strong and supported through that upper back. You know, we want to try to keep, I like to back squat heavy with the thumb here. If you like the thumb around, it doesn't matter. But I tighten that up as much as we can to try to have the elbow under without sacrificing the shoulder without the broken wrist. So here's what we're going to do today to get this position. First, hang on a second, pal. First is we're going to do a little bit of variation thinking on something you did yesterday. Instead of just waking up and winding up the tricep into just pure flexion, this comes through. I'm going to set my arm into the band and then on the outside. So if we break this position down, this is flexion and external rotation of the arm. So this time I'm going to bias more external rotation. Hand comes on the outside. It looks like I'm throwing a baseball here. I want you, hang on a second guys. I want you to be careful about exposing your shoulder to being vulnerable. I'm going to wind up here. Shoulders back in the socket where it's stable. If I feel unstable, I'm going to be really careful because I don't want you guys to dislocate if your shoulders are loose. And then you see I'm automatically in this external, external position. And so I can start to bias these corners a little bit in kind of a safe way. I can even turn away a little bit and let that hand bias into extra rotation and a little bit of flexion. Up here, I'm going to hit that. It would be like holding the bar. And you can see that's just an exaggerated way of kind of holding that bar position. I can do some contract relax here. Hold. The second piece, the toy way, is that I'm going to go ahead and hook the band, walk back, get some big distraction, turn the thumb up, so if the wrist is facing up, there's my load, and then I'm going to turn my whole body away and just hang out, get a big passive drag through some of these tissues. You're going to feel a lot of the fascial planes kind of pull from the wrist all the way up through this kind of tensegrity model we've talked about, of kind of how all the connective tissues are related. You'll notice I just anchor my pec, and I turn and turn and turn and load. And I can start to adjust up and down and really kind of get some acute pieces. We're always looking for a neck tie if you can get it. But uh, try that for uh, improving your back squat. For the lower extremity today, after your workout, we're going to do some isometric shutdowns. I'm going to hook my foot, jump out as far as I can, pelvis in neutral, and I'm going to drop low, really exposing the front of this hip to some end range bits. Practice holding on here, squeeze the butt, hold, 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 get as tight as you can. Lower, 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 as soon as you can. As soon as space becomes available, you're going to lower. Again, this is to be done at the end of the workout today, after your regular CrossFit workout. Hang until you burn out. Oh, burn deeper. Maybe a minute, maybe two. Switch sides. Repeat two times each side until you fatigue out. All right? We'll see you tomorrow.